G'day, John, for the hot end. Today in our beginner series, I'm doing bed leveling. Bed leveling, probably the most neglected thing in 3D printing and the most important. A couple of things to remember with bed leveling. Bed leveling and Z height are two different things. So before you can level your bed, you've got to set your Z height. So what we need to do is preheat your bed first because it's more accurate that way. Then we need to home the printer. Sorry, I'm not used to this. Home. Now this particular printer homes to zero on the X and Y. So the first thing we've got to do is set our Z height. Okay. Now, so that we don't crash anything, we need to move the Z bed down out of the way a bit, just to make sure we've got plenty of leeway. <clears throat> now, once that's moved, you'll see over here is the Z end stop switch. So we need to set that so that we'll bring that right down so that you can see. So that when we do a home, which we'll do now, uh, that's going to come up and hit the end stop switch well short of the bed. See, we're, we're about 10 mil short of the bed. So now we can adjust our Z stop up until we can get that nozzle to close to the bed. Now I should say too at this point that you need all your bed leveling nuts which are on your springs loose at this stage because we're starting from scratch. Okay so we've lifted that up and we'll home again. Okay we still need to go a little bit more. Right, okay, so that nozzle is now with my feeler gauge uh, about 0.75 above the bed. This is purely to get the Z height at a usable height so that we can level the bed. All right, so at this point we need to disable the motors because we're going to move the extruder by hand. Now do this slowly because when you move it, the motors turn into generators and you're pushing power through your board. So do it slowly. And as you move it across, you will see on this side, we can check our distance here. <clears throat> now we're quite a bit tighter on this side. And we'll check the front. and we're tight there as well. So at this point, there's a couple of things we can do. We can just drop the bed on one side a little by using the motor just to get our side to side right, which is what I do. Some people say it's not the right thing to do, but it's what I do. Uh, you can lift that one up just a fraction. Okay, so it's level side to side. So now we can home again. Now we need to level back to front. We use our leveling bed screws to do that. So we need to turn the motors off. Check our level here, bring it forward and check our level here and we're pretty good there. Now with your screws of course if you tighten it up it's going to drop the bed down so just make sure that they're tight and not going to rattle off because I'm pretty happy with that where it is. Okay so as far as I'm concerned, that bed is now level. We need to now check that our Z height is right before you can start a print. 
Okay, so we do a home. Now it depends what your Z offset is in your firmware as to where that needs to be to start a print. Now I'm not sure, this is not my printer, so I'm not sure what the Z offset is on this. So what we'll do is just start a print and it'll tell us what we need to know. Okay, so we're starting a print. It's just doing a purge. It's now printing. And you probably can't see that, but we're too high. Okay, so we'll stop that. Which means that our Z offset is making that too high where I had it set. So we'll just drop it down. We know that the bed's level, so we don't have to do anything there. All we have to do is drop our Z height just a fraction. Now you can do this by adjusting your Z height figure or you can just use an adjustable Z stop. Okay, so we'll just try that again. Right, we're off and printing now. And that's not looking too bad. It's sticking down nicely, so we're a fraction high possibly, but you can adjust that as I showed you before. One other thing to do your fine tuning, if you get something off Thingiverse or somewhere like that that has a large uh, footprint, start to print one of those and you can adjust your screws as it's printing the first layer uh, and get it absolutely perfect that way. All right, that's all for that one. Catch you next time. The printer we're using today is a Folgatech FT5 and it's his. <laughs>